filter. Uh, we should also be very familiar with this as well. Uh, this is also, this is a filtration operator. So instead of transformation, this is a filtration operator. Basically akin to a ray dot prototype dot filter. And that's what this operator looks like. So in this instance, uh, my uh, input observable stream has these values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, followed by a completion notification. And I'm going to filter on those, and I'm going to say, filter is going to return a Boolean value. If it's true, it uh, basically uh, re emits that input observable notification. If it's false, it just kills it right there. Uh, and so you can see in this instance, I only want uh, odd integers. Make sense? Cool. Let's take a quick look at a demo of that. So I've got it in the Add Hero dialog component. <coughs> okay, yeah, this is a pretty simple example here. And it's also a nice map example as well. Uh, so here I'm using the Marvel API uh, to get uh, an array of characters. I'm gonna by name. So this is remember when I was adding a hero and I got the drop down right to the Marvel API. That's what this filter method is getting hit with that name, whatever the user types in. Um, and I'm basically uh, first I just check if the name has a length. Otherwise I'm just gonna return an observable of uh, an empty array. So that way I'm not doing anything. Otherwise I'm gonna go ahead and hit that API and then that response. I basically just want to make sure that response comes back successfully. If it doesn't, I don't want to try to map it because I'm going to probably get a runtime exception, right? Uh, so filter is pretty easy. Um, and then there's also another map where I'm plucking out that results array. Uh, 